Welcome back to you. Daniel Andrews joins us now from the South thanks Plains Wildlife Rehab Center. Daniel, thanks so much for being with us. <laughs> thanks for having us. Absolutely. All right. So we are so excited. It's the second time we are having you live in studio. It's what been a while, yeah. I know. Yeah. We've, we've missed you guys. What do you have for us today? Um, I actually brought two of our baby squirrels. We have about 15, I think, now. Oh. Um, there are actually two native uh, species of squirrels in the area, and I brought one of each. Okay. We have both the eastern grays and the eastern fox squirrels. Um, both of them, these should be roughly the same age. Um, one maybe a couple more days to a couple of week or to about a week or so. Oh this one is goodness. actually a little eastern gray squirrel. Oh, uh, he's so little! <laughs> his tail's starting to push up, so he should be starting to actually start to eat a little bit on his own and getting a little bit more. But he is still being syringe fed a couple of times a day. Um, we'll start introducing him to like little squ uh, nuts, uh, cracked pecans, and shells, and fruits and veggies. And then, like I said, I brought the other one too, which is the eastern fox squirrel. Yeah, come here, where'd you go in? There you're hiding in, hiding down in their blanket or in their blankets in the middle. So how old are these two? They look a little <laughs> these more These are probably then. about six weeks or so. Six weeks, wow. They're, with their mom, they would be pretty much weaned almost completely off. Um, but since they've been separated from their parents, they take a little bit longer to figure things out. Oh. Uh, but yeah, this is the eastern fox mm. squirrel. And you can kind of see the difference. And the main one is that, that orange, uh, that orangish red color that's on their belly. He's yeah. a little bit older, a little bit long, larger tail. Uh -huh. Um, a little bit more bushy, and they won't. Neither one of these will be released until their tails are big and like fully bushy and fully it out. They use them for both balance and to insulate themselves. Uh, so that's one of the deals. Then we have to make sure that they can crack nuts and uh, shells and stuff like that on their own before we can release them. Yeah, important life skills to have. Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> especially when you're running around jumping from the tree to tree. But yeah. Um, these were both like orphaned. Um, the mom either got hit or they got blown out of the nest and came to us. Like I said, they're both, Lubbock is kind of the only, one of the few in this area that has both types of squirrels. Most of them just have about one oh, wow. type, um, but Lubbock is a little different on some of those things like that. Some believe that they got brought in um, and then they set up a colony and now they're kind of expanding out. But wow. yeah, these are two little ones. Oh, and we have so our cute. open house coming up next month, uh -huh. uh, September 17th. Uh, from 11 to 2. That's one of the few times we haven't done it in the past couple of years, but we'll be open from 11 to 2 for the public to kind of come out and see what we do and see most of our animals. And you know, there are other ways you can get involved at the South Plains Wildlife Rehab Center. They do amazing work. We have a graphic right there, um, phone number and email and their website. This is how you can reach out directly. Um, they're always taking donations and volunteers, so make sure that you reach out to them and get involved in this fantastic work. Uh, thank you so much for being with yeah, us. Thanks Daniel. for having me. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> 